Hello and welcome to my multi-MC tutorials. In this tutorial we will be taking a look at how to install mod packs using multi-MC. Let's get started. So first off, before we begin, I just want to say that the rest of the tutorial series will be linked down below in the description, in the playlist, so if you don't know how to install it, or if you want to know how to add instances and stuff like that, everything else will be in that playlist, go ahead and check it out. But anyways, in this one, we will be taking a look at how to install mod packs from FTB and CurseForge. This is just a quick note. For Linux users, the Twitch uh, client is not available for Linux. Multi-MC is, and this allows you to actually be able to play mod packs from CurseForge. It is very, very good. But even if you're on Windows, in my opinion, this is way easier and you don't have the Twitch client sitting there sucking up your performance and whatnot because it has a bunch of other stuff running in it. I don't know. I don't like the client. I, In my opinion, this is way better. But let's now get started. Now I just had to really quickly switch to the development version 0.6.12 because this new feature that is super amazing is actually not part of the stable branch. Of course it will eventually become it but if you want this feature you'll need to go into and install the development version but I'll also cover how to do it in the stable version. This is just a whole lot easier. So we're gonna go into add instance and down here you can see FTB Legacy and here is a list of all the public FTB Legacy packs right here. All you need to do is click it and press OK and boom, you are done. You can also go ahead and access the third parties and if you have any private ones you can add your own pack by enter a pack code. Just like that, I'm going to be installing FTB Sky Auditor Suite just for this example. It already puts in the name and it puts in an icon as well. I'm going to change the group to tutorial mod packs, just like that. We can change the version of the mod pack right here, and we can of course change how they sort um, in the list here. So that is all. Press OK. Downloading the zip file for FTP Sky Audacity. Aud Audacity? No, Odyssey. Blech. And there you go. It is now installed. All you need to do is double click it or launch it up here, and it will launch and getting library files from Mojang, etc. blah, blah, blah. And very soon you will have loading. And here you go, Feed the Beast Sky Odyssey right here for you to play. That was extremely easy to install. Now we're moving on to Curse Forge. Now this is the part where it is just as easy as we just did now with Curse Forge. But if you don't have the development version at the time of this recording anyway, you will need to do it in a different way. But don't worry, I will show you. So add instance and then down here at Twitch, then we just need to search. So I'm going to search RL Craft because that is the one I want to install. And here we go. All of the stuff with our RL Craft is here. So here is the mod pack right here. A mod pack specially designed to bring an incredibly hardcore and semi realism, blah, blah, blah. The name is here, the icon is there, the group, we already set that, and we just need to press OK. Downloading mod pack, waiting, and boom, RL Craft has been installed. And fine, I'll launch it so you can see. Loading, and there you go, RL Craft has just been installed. Super easy, and the installation takes like zero time whatsoever. Now let me show you how it looks if you don't run the development version. If we go back into add instance, as you can see the Twitch tab right here is no longer there. But don't worry, you can still do it. All you need to do is go into import from zip. We need to give it a name. Actually, we don't need to do that. Hold on. All right, so here we are on the Curse Forge uh, mod packs tab and I have found RL Craft right here. All you would need to do is go into files and then you would need to find, to go down here to recent files, and as you can see, there is no download button, but just click on it, and then click on the download right there. Wait for the download to begin. All right, so I have it downloaded now. All I would need to do is go into browse, then head to my downloads folder, and here we have RL Craft, the zip file that I just downloaded. I'm going to open that. As you can see, it gives us the file name uh, that the zip file has. I'm just going to call it RL Craft. 
Now through this way you do not get the custom icon from the pack, you will have to set one up for yourself. I'm just gonna give it another award because why not, that is a custom one I added. And just press OK. And that is basically the same process done right there. Extracting mod pack. And there we go. We now have RL Craft installed right here in our mod pack section right here. I'm going to launch it again just to show you. Loading once again. And there you go. RL Craft right here, ready to be played. And that is how easy it is to install mod packs using Multi MC. Now, if you want to install a mod pack from the Technic Launcher or the AT Launcher, from what I know, that is unfortunately not uh, doable. There might be other mod pack sites that I don't know about where you can just download it and do the same thing as I just did with Curse Fort here. I don't know. If you if you know, let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, that is pretty much it. That is how you install mod packs on Multi MC very easily, and the installation takes no time at all. So I hope you have learned and I hope you have enjoyed. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. To check out the other tutorials that I have, be sure to check out the playlist down in the description as well. But I hope you enjoyed, hope you learned, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye. Bye.